The Havewert is a medium to large size German dog breed. The name means yard watcher or farm watcher, from the Middle High German words Hova, court, yard, farm, modern standard German. Hof and Wart, watchman, modern standard German. Wart. History. Following the medieval period, the popularity of the Havewert began to decline. Newer breeds such as the German Shepherd Dog slowly replaced the Havewert as a guard and working dog until it had almost disappeared by the beginning of the 20th century. Around 1915 a group of enthusiasts decided to try to save the breed. Predominant in this group was the zoologist Kurt Friedrich Koenig. They started by looking for dogs in the farms of the Black Forest region. Koenig then started a careful breeding program using these dogs and crossed them with Kuvasak, Newfoundlands, German Shepherd Dogs, Leonbergers, a Bernese Mountain Dog and an African Hunting Dog. After much work the group was rewarded in 1922 when the first Havwart litter was entered into the German breeding registry. The enthusiasts continued their work, and in 1937, the German Kennel Club officially recognized the Havwart. All this work was almost undone with the outbreak of the Second World War. Because of their abilities many Havwarts were used in the German war effort and perished. By 1945 only a few remained. Enthusiasm for the breed remained, and in 1947, Otto Schramm and some fellow enthusiasts in Coburg formed a new club, the Rasse Zuchtdrain für Havwart Hund Coburg, which is still in existence today. In 1964 the German Kennel Club recognized the Havewart as the country's seventh working breed. Description of the breed. When recreating the Havewarts, representatives of the breeds participated in the selection. German Shepherds, African Hounds, Kuvises, Newfoundlands. Thanks to these breeds, the breed got its modern look a powerful, but not heavy dog, which has universal application and is adapted to intense stress. Colors. Havewarts have long hair, short hair is located on the head and partially on the front legs. The Havwart standard assumes three types of colors. Completely black. Marks and spots of other colors are not allowed, black and tan. The main color is black, the tan is red. The location of the markings. The lower part of the muzzle, mask, with the capture of the neck, eyebrows, chest and shoulders, toes and the area under the tail. The standard allows for white hairs on the legs and tail, pale yellow. The color is uneven lighter on the belly and lower chest. Similar breeds. Havwart can be mistaken for another breed, mestizo or mongrel. Who does it look like and what is the difference? Golden Retriever. Most often, the fawn representative of the breed is confused with a retriever, but these are completely different dogs. Distinctive features of the Havwart. Longer limbs, tail according to the mood it is raised up and bent towards the back, the instinct of a leader is more developed, a strong will, Bernese Mountain Dog and Leonberger. Havwart is more athletic, flexible and slender, alert and temperamental, Newfoundland. The German watchdog is not so fond of being in the water, much more temperamental and playful, differs in smaller size and quantity of wool. The nature and characteristics of behavior. Such dogs have a very deceiving soft appearance, which is why they are not taken seriously as guards or protectors. Havwarts are characterized by pronounced territorial behavior, German guards are more distrustful of strangers than other breeds, and strictly monitor changes in their territory strong character and iron will, late growing up, up to three years. For this reason, the process of education and training can be somewhat delayed, balanced character, lack of unmotivated aggression, strong devotion to the owner and his family. One of the main character traits of the Havwart is the desire to dominate other animals. This somewhat does not fit with their appearance, but they can defend their right to leadership. Havwarts need long walks and constant movement, keeping in an apartment is not suitable for them. The best option would be to live in a private house, but not in an aviary or on a chain. They get along poorly with other animals in the absence of subordination. Havwarts build excellent relationships with children, but during the growing up period, serious control over the communication of the dog and the child is necessary. Education and training. You will have to raise a puppy from the very first day of stay at home and for several more years until the period of growing up passes. If the Havwart is the first pet, it is better to use the services of a professional dog handler and take a training course with him. Independent training is only possible for a patient owner, brute force cannot be used to dogs of this breed, Havwarts are too sensitive and touchy. As a result of rude actions, the dog may withdraw or harbor resentment and then take revenge. Particular attention should be paid to the behavior of the Havwart during walks, dogs have a well-developed hunter instinct, they will constantly try to dominate other animals. A properly raised Havwart will become not only an excellent guard, but also a companion, a favorite of the whole family. Dignity. Pets have many advantages that are highly valued in the canine community, they are included in the list of man's best companions and friends. Complete absence of aggression, conflict-free. Intelligence, high intelligence. Strong affection for the owner and other family members. 
High learning ability, ability to master commands after 2 to 3 repetitions, obedience. Gets along well with other pets. They are exceptionally balanced, imperturbable, they breathe with calmness and peace. Swift, decisive, resourceful, good guards. They do not require special conditions of detention, they can live in an apartment, unpretentious. Disadvantages. Hovard has very few drawbacks, however, and they are worth mentioning. The dog is not suitable for people with a sedentary lifestyle, as it requires a long daily walk. It is not recommended for inexperienced owners, as it can show dominant qualities that must be controlled with the help of appropriate training courses. They grow up for a long time, up to three years old they have a naughty childish character and puppy habits. Early socialization is required. Care and maintenance. Caring for pets of this breed is not particularly difficult and does not take much time. Hovward is an unpretentious animal. The preferred place for keeping is a large house with a fenced garden where the pet can walk for a long time. It is also possible to place a Hovward in an apartment, provided that he is provided with an appropriate level of physical activity on the street. The dog's ears require an examination every two to three weeks. Ordinary dirt and dust can be cleaned on your own, with a swab soaked in boiled water. But if discharge is noted or an unpleasant odor appears, you need to contact your veterinarian, as it may be an infection. The eyes should be bright and shiny. Clouding or mucus in the corners of the eyes indicates internal changes and can be signs of a variety of diseases. Therefore, self-diagnosis and, moreover, self-medication in this situation is not permissible. Professional doctors in the clinic will help in making a diagnosis and choosing the right treatment tactics. Hovart's teeth are wide and strong and rarely have problems. To prevent the formation of dental plaque on the enamel, which later turns into stone, you can use a special cleaning paste or treat the dog with beef broom once a month. It is imperative to trim the claws with a nail clipper so that the pet is not injured by the hardened regrown part of the nail. The procedure is carried out once every two to three months. Dogs generally do not tolerate these manipulations well. Therefore, it will be correct to teach the hovert to cut nails from puppyhood. Food. Medium to large-sized active and active dogs are usually fed with natural products. If the dog eats dry food, the choice should be made in favor of well-known and well-established food manufacturers. Health. Representatives of this breed are tireless and active and remain so for many years. Excellent health helps them maintain a high rhythm of activity. Hoverts practically do not get sick. Also, dogs are not susceptible to serious genetic diseases, provided that the rules for selecting parents for breeding are followed. In order for the pet to please the owner for 10 years, it is necessary to follow the general recommendations, especially at one year of the puppy's life. Choose the right exercise regimen, excluding lengthy training with jumps and climbs on high platforms. Strictly adhere to the feeding schedule, as well as track daily food volumes, avoiding overeating. Walked. Walking is one of the Hovart's favorite activities. Pets are energetic and active, love to be on the move, and are ready to walk in any weather. Dogs love water and enjoy plunge into all bodies of water along the way. The duration of each Hovart walk should be at least 1 hour and preferably 1.5 hours. The animal will gratefully accept any opportunity to be on the street. The ideal option for physical activity is to accompany the owner on a bike training, morning jog or just a walk in the forest or in the park. It is recommended to include search tasks, throw frisbees and special playing rings. By spending energy on outdoor activities, the Hovart will be more relaxed at home. Hair care. Hovart's coat is long and dense. However, despite these characteristics, caring for it is not difficult. Silky, wavy hair does not tangle slightly, is easy to comb, and once a week is usually enough to keep the hair in a beautiful and well-groomed condition. Will has self-cleaning properties and is good at repelling water and dirt that gets on it during a walk. The exception is two periods of moderate shedding when the pet needs to be combed out daily, helping to get rid of excess hair. Additionally, you can trim the villi between the toes. How to choose a Hovart puppy. Hovart puppy if you decide to get a Hovart, then you should approach the choice of a breeder very carefully, since the breed is rare and its development is monitored by the IHF, International Hovart Federation. You should carefully read the existing breeding rules and legalized nurseries in your country. It may be better to make a request to the organization for a recommendation of kennels where you can buy a purebred Hovart puppy. The IHF positions the breed as a non-commercial and has a number of requirements for poor owners. Before purchasing, you should study the IHF requirements and breed standards in order to be knowledgeable in these matters. How much does the Hovart breed cost? The cost of a puppy varies from litter and pedigree. Also, the price of a Hovart puppy depends on the examinations and certificates carried out. The price ranges from 700 to 1500 euros.